Hey guys, it's Baby Powder, and it's Sunday, which means it's time for another one of our mailbox cleanouts for our 200 run series, uh, where we run 200 runs, and you guys see our loot videos on Monday, which this week will be uh, Skyreach coming up. Uh, last week was Isle of Thunder, which we actually didn't do 200 runs. We actually did uh, 10 hours, 5 hours on each Druid, and we post things on two different realms. Uh, this week will be week 17. Uh, last week we added Sunken Temple to our, uh, you know, the week before we added Sunken Temple to our cells. Uh, and, you know, with everything that's going on, the remix for Panda Land, and uh, now we have Cataclysm as well. Uh, Diablo 4 also came out. So it may cause our, you know, uh, cells to kind of slow down. Um, last week, you know, we did have remix in the mix as well, but we actually did not see really too much of a dip in our sales. We actually were still, if you can see right here on our sheet, we actually made 253,000. So we we're over that 200,000, uh, range that we try to be at every single week. Uh, actually the week before that, we were actually below the week that, you know, before Andaland came out. Uh, but this week now we also have you know kata in the mix so that may have an effect uh you had the you know new uh season for diablo 4 I'm not sure if that really have too much of an effect but may uh as you know other people decide to you know play those things instead of you know retail uh so it takes away from ourselves a little bit uh but yeah we'll we'll see if this week if kata you know did a big change there's still a lot of people doing remix uh, uh right now so it could you know hinder ourselves just a little bit hoping uh we can still get close to that uh 200 000 mark hopefully we're not going to see another week like we did here when thunderstorm first came out uh right after manitoums where we only had 88 000. but uh but yeah we're we're going to hope that uh there's still people buying stuff but anyway let's go ahead and do a quick review real quick and see you know where we're at so far um uh, before we get into our sales uh, this week. So, for um, as far as how much gold we've made so far, we've uh, made 3,199,000. Uh, for last week, we again made 253,000. And then, as far as our you know areas where we've made our gold, we've been doing mostly dungeon runs. Uh, we did do an open world farm uh, last week, uh, which was Isle of Thunder, but still it was mostly you know focused around transmog we will probably see some materials uh though from that because this is pan lands open world farm we're gonna have you know like modes of harmony and, and and things like that uh but uh with that we've got 285,000 made with just materials and then it's 2 million nine hundred and fourteen thousand with transmog so big difference there uh and we do this with two different realms although our ultimate goal is just to reach 10 million combined uh, but uh, we do keep track just to see how they're performing. Uh, last week, Proudmore did a lot more at 182,000, but they also did have a really big sell, <laughs> uh, selling a high value item, which was the Bones uh, Slasher from RFD. Uh, and then Thrall was only at 70,000, so pretty low for Thrall actually. Uh, and then as far as how they've been doing, performing, you know, total, uh, Proudmoor, you know, has overall been doing a lot better at 1.7 million and then Thrall at almost 1.5 million. So they're about 200,000, uh, below Proudmoor at this time. Uh, we'll see if that can change this week a little bit. Maybe it can, maybe it won't. Maybe, uh, we'll still see Proudmoor outperform, uh, Thrall, but, uh, we'll, we'll hope that they can both have some decent sales this week with everything going on. And I got to say, you know, Skyreach coming up. Can't wait to get some of these items up because uh, it's been a while since we did Iron Docks. And we actually, you know, got some of those, you know, wad items up on the auction house. And it seems like almost weekly we're seeing sales from when we did Iron Docks. Still, we have items from there that we're actually seeing sell. But, I'll, you know, this is actually the first time I've actually attempted to do skyreach <laughs> somebody suggested i did i was actually planning on doing grim rail uh depot for our 200 run series because i have done that before in the past you know uh but it's, i'm pretty sure it's like similar items to iron docks whereas 
it seems like Skyridge has different items. So it's going to be nice because it's going to be giving us wad items that are actually different. I mean, you know, the, you know, the epics and things uh, will be the same, but as far as the green items, they're going to be a little bit different. But anyway, with all that being said, let's go ahead and get to our first bank tune, which is going to be our low value transmog uh, bank tune or crowd more. And let's get that pulled up now. Here we go. We got our low value bait tune for Proudmore. Let's see how our sales look this week. So we've got uh, 4,666,000. A little low. <laughs> we've actually seen it up to like 40,000 and uh, sometimes up to like uh, 20,000. But uh, yeah, 4,000, not even hitting uh, double digits there. Uh, let's see what we did get though. Um, pattern for the Deviant Scale Gloves was about the only one, you know, worth really mentioning. Everything else was kind of low. We do though actually see some sales from Isle Thunder. It just kind of sold really low. The Sir Singer uh, Spellblade, we actually sold two of those. Those are both from Isle Thunder. So nice. We did actually sell some things from Isle Thunder. They just sold really, really low. And I've actually, actually sold these for a lot more. And even the low binder disc only 332 gold uh that is actually from our isle of thunder farm so still nice that we did see stuff sell you know right away but just unfortunate it sold for so little because we probably could have gotten a little bit more but we really don't um worry too much about low value stuff um uh, only when the high value stuff is really low that we kind of worry about we did sell a schematic for a purple smoke flare so that most likely came from one of our outland uh dungeon farms uh, so nice that we sold one of those. Uh, but again, things just selling super low uh, this week. Uh, possibly could have been a little bit higher with the low value transmog. But again, it is just low value. So we'll go ahead and add that to our sheet up here. All right. And we'll just hope that some of the other guys did a little bit better. Clean that out. And this now we're going to log on over to high value transmog. Oh, oh, we have some exciting sales over here. Once we get past the loading screen, all right. And now we have our high value transmog for Proudmore and 28,036 gold. So that's probably where we kind of wanted our low value transmog to be, so a little bit low. And like I said, I mean, it could be having an effect on it with, you know, Kata and Remix going on at the same time. Uh, but yeah, hopefully eventually we'll see our sales pick back up. Or we could just be having a bad week. When I mean, you have bad weeks for Transmog, it does happen. But let's see what we got. Uh, so we're reverse uh, Girdle for 9,000. Loyal Blade sold for 9,000. I'm almost certain that's one of our Kata items. I believe that we got that from uh, when we were doing Stone Core. I'm almost certain. So, uh, if so, nice uh, to see one of those items finally sell. Uh, Blood Tusk, uh, sh even though it's only 9,000. <laughs> Blood Tusk uh, shoulder pads. Uh, I'm pretty sure that is from our Isle Thunder farm. Um, so, 9,000 gold there as well. So, not bad. Not bad. Um, just wish we could have had like a bigger item sell or more items sell. 28,000 gold. We'll add that in. Keyboard. 28. Six. And honestly, I mean, I did expect uh, things to be kind of low like this last week. Just I wasn't really expecting it this week. But then again, Kata did come out and I do feel like there are, you know, uh, might even have more of an impact with people playing Kata than even Remix at this point. <laughs> um... So that, that could really be why. Because uh, I know a lot of people have been farming up their tokens and things there. All right, so materials. We did at least do a little bit better than last week with our materials. Uh, as we only made like 33 gold overall with materials last week. Uh, and this week, <laughs> we're already over that with 3,868 gold, which is proud more. Uh, so we sold our Spirits of Harmony, uh, 3,141 gold for a stack of 48. Uh, we sold the Wimble Cloth, only 180 gold. 
Uh, but then we also have a smaller stack of Spirits of Harmony, uh, eight of them for 546 gold. Uh, so that will help us out a little bit just because, you know, like I said, we didn't even have that much. Uh, and we still have materials from, you know, Thrall as well. But so far, we're only at 36,000 uh, gold. Uh, so Thrall's really going to have to do a lot to get us up to 200,000 gold this week. Uh, if not, it will be a pretty sad week this week. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and get on over to Thrall and load in our low value bank tune here. This is this is rough for problem problem it's been leading us for so long and this is i think the lowest they've ever, ever actually had i don't know i can't really recall mana tombs uh and some of was pretty low but that was like our second week uh but anyway low value transmog on thrall at least it's a little bit higher than proudmore at thirteen thousand seven hundred twenty three gold uh not by much though uh let's see we sold the evermorn twig for 6,000 gold. Uh, not 100% sure where that comes from. <laughs> uh, unfortunately. Uh, let's see. And then. Uh, let's see. We sold funeral pyre vestment. I'm pretty sure that came from BRD. <laughs> it's really low though. 300 gold. Ritual shroud. Uh, sold one of those for uh, almost 1,300. And mystic sphere. Sold that for almost 5,000. Not bad at all for that. Uh, for the Mystic Sphere. Uh, and that's, I believe these, right? No, that's Lunar. Um, that's Lunar too. But yeah, anyway. <laughs> Still not bad, almost 5,000 gold. Uh, so we'll go ahead and add that in up here. Three. And sorry guys, I can't really remember where those items came from. I have to possibly look those two up. Uh, but again, the, I mean, they're not huge. I mean, it's low value transmog, but uh, but yeah, still nice to see those amounts for any kind of uh, low value transmog early. Uh, but anyway, 13,723. We'll go and clean that out and switch on over to our high value transmog. screen there we go and unfortunately our low value transmog is lower than proud Moore's. uh 78 <laughs> really not what you want to see uh see so sold a ceremonial loincloth which that kind of hurts because that could have been like you know it's valued at like forty thousand, only six uh thousand right there uh and then war paint shoulders not too worried about that being kind of low because that's just the, these white shoulders here uh, they are valued at like right at 20,000, but still uh, 1200 gold for that. Um, so 7,800. So, yeah, uh, really does look like it may have had an effect on us with the whole Kata and Proudmore, or not Kata and Proudmore, Kata and uh, Remix going on at the moment. Um, hopefully, though, we'll still be higher, maybe. I don't know, we might be actually lower. In that week when Plunderstorm came out, this is actually pretty rough. Uh, let's see, let's get our materials here and then we'll go over everything. Uh, so, hopefully, we can just you know bounce back next week. Um, we'll go over everything as soon as we go through the materials here, though. Let's see, 3,894. Yeah, it should be right. You know, actually, it's a little bit more than we made on Proudmore. Uh, actually, because we did, we had those juicy crunch carrots and those red blossom leeks uh, also sell those little farm uh, material items uh, that I mentioned when we went over the loot. Uh, we got 45 gold and 37 gold there for those. Uh, and we didn't have those on Proudmore because I think I was accidentally vendoring those. Um, but yeah, so we got a little bit extra there. But then again, you know, Proudmore did actually get a little bit more when we did, what, we did the Mechanar, I think it was. We were vendoring like the Marxist Arcus with, with, uh, with our Thrall to, or our Horde tune. Uh, but anyway, uh, Spirits of Harmony, 54 of them sold for 3,600. Uh, we actually sold the Course of the Earth for like 12 silver. And we will claw for 179 gold. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and add that in. All right. 
$38.94. All right, and we'll clean that out. And then let's get our sheet back up here. And it's it's really not good. <laughs> it's really not good. So um, we got uh, 4,666 gold and then 13,723 gold for, uh, for our low value transmog. And for problem where we got 28,000 and then 7,800 for all with our high value transmog, giving us 54,229 gold for transmog this week. Uh, they both were around the 3,800 range with the materials, leaving us to 7,762 gold for materials and giving us only 61,991 gold for the week, uh, which is a real shame because honestly, I was thinking with Isle Thunder Man, we were going to see sales uh, like that week because, uh, you know, Isle Thunder has always been so great for me in the past where we've you know consistently sold these things it doesn't mean that's not going to happen later on uh with other weeks and i'm sure it is going to definitely help us out along the road uh big time but it's just uh i believe it's just with everything going on right now um because it does it, it was a lot that blizzard like threw at everybody you know you've got um remix is still out a lot of people are still doing that they've you know made changes uh towards remix as well They've also, uh, you know, Cata came out. People are, you know, finding it, you know, easier to get tokens through Cata. So people are wanting to do that, it seems like. And then there's also uh, people doing, uh, you know, possibly the new season of D4. I haven't really heard too much on that, but, but it, it is a possibility that some people are, are actually doing that. Um, but anyway, uh, with that though, it does give us 61,991 gold. Uh, which is, of course, down from what we made last week by quite a bit. We, are, we made 253000 Now, granted, though, last week it kind of saved us from having that big sale on the Bone Slasher where we had like you know, 100 and almost 50000 of that was just that one item <laughs> that sold. Uh, so still, our sales last week could have been like right at 100000 So it may not have been as much of a dip. Uh, and then... With that though, it does put us now, <clears throat> excuse me, at 3.2 million gold um, as far as how much gold we've made total uh, since we've started this. And that gives us with uh, 6,738,000 gold left to make before we reach our goal of 8 million. So we've still got a ways to go. We still have a bunch of farms to do. We just completed Skyreach last night. Uh, so we'll be going over that loot video actually right after this video. <laughs> And we'll be adding that stuff to our sales. Hopefully, it'll help boost our sales back up. Uh, as you see, right after we added Iron Docks, we, we saw our first jump up over 300,000. So, hoping, hoping that that can be the case this time as well. <laughs> but anyway, guys, uh, you know, it does happen. You do have bad weeks with Transmog. This is kind of how it goes. And uh, that's, uh, that's how it went this week. Um, uh, oh, and real quick, guys, as far as our realms go, you know, we did actually still make more with Proudmoor this week at 36,000 versus 25,000. Both realms way below where they were last week. Uh, and it still, of course, leaves Proudmoor in the lead here. Uh, but anyway, guys, we will have Sky Reach. We're actually going to be doing ramparts today on stream. Uh, so hopefully we'll, you know, get some good items from that. Uh, but anyway, if you guys do want to join us, in on twitch and actually do some of these runs with us see some of these items dropping live make sure you check out the twitch link down below uh hopefully you guys even though the sales were not great <laughs> still like the video uh like that we're doing this whole concept where we you know add a dungeon to ourselves each week we're doing 200 runs of each dungeon uh hopefully you guys also enjoyed the side project that i did with the 1000 runs of alderman our next one up for our 1000 runs is going to be sfk actually but we're probably going to wait until after we get our next open world farm which is going to be the crypts and dragon blight uh completed just so we're ahead with our 200 run series because i don't want to fall behind on this uh you know trying to focus on our you know 1000 run uh and depending on when we get that completed uh may even push to get the next 200 runs done uh just depends on time because i want to be far enough ahead to where i can't risk getting behind um but anyway, that is going to probably be it for this video. Just hope you guys like are liking this series and still like it, even though 
we didn't have good sales this week but that does happen if you like the video just make sure you hit the thumbs up uh let me know that you like it also if you want to join us on twitch make sure you click the link down below and uh link is down there and also uh make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss the next video coming out uh which actually tomorrow will be skyreach uh and then the next sunday we'll actually have uh the next clean out which hopefully we can see a lot better sales this has been our worst week so far and actually we can add that in over here real quick uh 61 uh still about twenty thousand, you know less than our worst week actually i mean i guess some of was our worst but that was only like our second week so i don't really count that because we've actually started to build up at this point so but since we've gotten a stock it's been our worst sales uh but anyway guys that's gonna be it for me today i hope to see you guys on twitch hope to see you guys in the next video and you take care guys